Alrighty guys, what is up my bros and hoes? I gotta make this video quick because my phone hates me and apparently I can only hold a video of like a few minutes so we'll try to keep this short. Moral of the story, okay, I'll just jump to it. Do not buy a ticket with a layover of anything less than four hours. Never do that. Never do that. Never, ever, ever, never do that, okay? I'm gonna tell you about what happened to me in Hong Kong, what you shouldn't do, and then I'm gonna ask for you guys' advice because I honestly have no idea, but there might have been something I could have done better so that I could have a better situation. So what happened is I bought a ticket last time I went to the Philippines. Oh my gosh. Last time I went to the Philippines, uh, I had a plan to fly back to the US really cheap and somebody else had other plans. So as soon as I arrived in Hong Kong, um, unfortunately the flight was late so i landed late in hong kong so what originally was supposed to be a two hour time in hong kong before i got to my next flight which was for japan and then after that to the u.s it ended up being actually hey no you you get to stay in hong kong how about that how about you stay in hong kong because nobody cares that we messed up your flight so what happened is i was flying with united airways and they gave me a ticket because they don't have any way to get to Hong Kong. I don't remember exactly why this happened, but I ended up being on Hong Kong Airlines and they were late. I was not late to anything. I was on time and I did everything as fast as I could. I rushed to my gate that was supposed to get me to my flight. And unfortunately, uh, I did not arrive. Oh my gosh, this shadow is going to kill me. Uh, I did not arrive on time to get to my next flight and actually get happily ever after safely home so right now i'm here fortunately you know i i'm happily safe in the united states planning my next evil scheme <laughs> you know what i mean working on my next uh travel trip currently but at the time uh, i was not able to get home so what i ended up doing was panicking for five hours thinking what the heck am i gonna do i have to get out of this country because um honestly there was only one person willing to help me and he had no power in the company so i went to literally everyone i went to customer service they said hey talk to the airlines and so there was one guy who was able to kind of try to like do everything he could um and he, he that was good customer service like he was he told me he was trying to be a pilot very professional fellow you know so thank you a lot uh I, i'll look up uh, I, don't, I don't remember exactly your name forgive me but he was very helpful uh, and did everything he could to kind of help me out. There was another guy who was really rude and really wasn't <laughs> that all that enthusiastic to help out an American in need. What I ended up doing is they told me to contact the airlines that I was flying with, which was technically, um, you know, they didn't have an office in Hong Kong. Very unfortunate. So United Airlines, I contacted them, uh, one of their chat agents. So I wasn't even talking to the company. I was talking to one of the chat agents from a country that they outsource. Pro they're probably paying the guy like $2 an hour to work for them. He basically told me like, oh yeah, so so we screwed up your flight. Ain't nothing we can do about it. We're not going to refund you or anything. But hey, if you pay $2,000 or $3,000, we can get you home on time. So, so I'm out here. I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. Like I could literally be stranded in a different country and this guy's trying to sell me something. If that's what you guys see as professionalism, go look at the chat. Like don't just take my word for it. Like there's evidence in another video that I'm gonna leave in a link. And if I get any kind of, you know, cease and desist or whatever, I hope that's not what happens. Like I do wanna maintain a good relationship with this company because they did give me a good experience on my flight towards the Philippines. That was great. I had a good flight, but unfortunately, on the way back, there wasn't a whole lot of help. And what I ended up doing was instead of paying the stupid $2,000, which was twice the amount for the entire flight, like the entire round trip. I mean, there's something my grandfather used to say, which was, um, I can't afford to save that much. <laughs> so basically, yeah, I, I flew back to the Philippines to kind of regroup and figure out what I was going to do next. And fortunately, I could kind of borrow a little bit of money and work my way uh into getting back to the united states with the help of a lot of people i don't really 
do shout outs for people that don't ask for it but you know who you are and i really appreciate it but um yeah so what ended up happening okay i don't know what's up because literally just 20 minutes ago when i was making the original version of this i filmed a video that was like 10 minutes but just to make the second part of this video i had to delete several apps so i don't know what the heck is up with my phone right now um but what i've decided to do this next trip i had a choice to either have a direct flight for a lot of money or i could do another layover on my way to korea because i'm going to korea before i'm going to the philippines and so i have a budget for that um and so i had a choice either for a little bit more money i could have spend some time in taiwan or i could have this risky situation again where i'm only there for two hours or i'm screwed so we're going to taiwan we're going to freaking korea we're going to the philly freaking willy 93 days guys let's go leave in the comments what you think i should have done if there was a better way to handle the situation maybe you guys know something i don't that's what i'd love to hear leave it in the comments uh but other than that do not buy a layover <laughs> under four hours guys come on honestly under three hours it's pushing it uh love you guys have an amazing day be the change you want in the world babush